I can't stress enough, make sure your buyers are very, very well invested into the deals they're de doing with you. If they aren't well invested into the deal, really all it is is they have you tied up, right? They walk, there's no pain. They wanna renegotiate with you. They're not worried about you having the leverage of a bunch of non-refundable earnest money from them. You've gotta get substantial earnest money from your buyers. I would suggest, I'll take it a step further. I would suggest that you actually reduce the purchase price before you reduce the earnest money. I Their amount of earnest money is probably the most important term to me. Well, besides maybe the closing date, right? But earnest money is so important. If you don't get a substantial amount of earnest money from your buyers, there is no pain in them wanting to renegotiate with you or walk on your deals. You've got to get substantial earnest money from your buyers, I can't say it enough. Another way to get your buyers well invested in a deal, which is one of our ninja strategies, is you actually get your buyer to put up your cost to get the project approved for them, right? Because remember, you're tying up the raw land, you're taking it through the approval process, and then you're selling it to them. Well, we've had numerous students, and I've actually done it once or twice myself, where I had the buyer put up the capital I needed to get the project approved. There again, above and beyond their earnest money, that gets them heavily invested in the deal to where they're much less likely to play games with you. And I'm not saying that in a mean way, it's just the reality of our industry, a lot of games are played. So get your buyers as heavily vested in the deals as possible, okay? And is say you're gonna have them pay for the cost to get it approved, this is that that can be done by rising, raising their earnest money amount, okay? And then they release that money to you to pay the bills. Or if corporately they're not allowed to do that, release that money to you without security and you have no way to secure the money, the other way is they pay the vendors direct. And, and those are the two ways to get that done. And not every buyer will do it. I've done it once or twice. I really don't use that strategy a whole lot myself because as soon as I'm asking them to pay my costs, I feel I actually lose a little bit of leverage as far as being able to negotiate with them because I look more vulnerable, more desperate. But it is a phenomenal strategy and others are having success with it and we've had success with it in the past. But I can't say it enough. Make sure your buyers are heavily vested in your deals. Otherwise, all they really do is they have you tied up right? They control you. They control your deal with really no consequences if they don't have very much earnest money up. It needs to be painful for them to play games. All right, see ya.